Jeff Onkyu Sarubi is a 22-year-old Connecticut native, Brooklyn-based hip-hop artist who is known for his unique way of blending hip-hop and alternative rock, creating a fresh and electric sound. I was the only kid I knew growing up who listened to both Wu-Tang and Def Cab for Cutie, says Onq. The fact that I listened to a variety of music when I was younger definitely influenced the music I create today. On September 7, 2010, Onq released Cutie Sings the Blues, presented by two dope boys, Mick Boogie and Terry Urban. Its first single, Crashing Down, garnered thousands of YouTube views and downloads in a matter of weeks and had college students and tastemakers alike talking about Onkyu's fresh new sound. GoodMusicAllDay.com says this is one of the best five mixtapes of the year. Since then, Onkyu has released Leftovers, Leftovers 2, Can't Wait, and his new album, Angry Young Man, which we sat down and spoke to him about. When was the point that you hit where you said to yourself and the people around you that the album is finished and it's ready to come out? Um, well, here's the thing. I kind of, uh, I've said this in the past just on Twitter and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but I kind of work in a weird way in terms of like, I kind of set pillars for these projects. Like right. I know I need a certain record here and a certain record here. And, and I know some people think it's, it's kind of a bad thing to do it that way but that's how my brain works. Okay. Um, so with that being said, the final pillar for the album was actually View From Here. That was kind of when I knew, you know, I knew we were only a record out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I knew yeah. what it was sonically missing, and I was like, all right, when are we going to find it? And it took a couple months to find the proper record that, you know, made sense and stuff like that. But it, it was definitely, it goes back to my work process. And I kind of just knew right when we wrapped that record up, I was like, it's done. Right. Okay. You know. Right. Did you know you wanted to have 12 tracks on it? So you're saying... The way you thought about it like that, you're like, all right, I need this one more track to finish the album. Well, it's funny you said that. Like, with Can't Wait, I didn't really put a limit on the tracks. I know I definitely wanted to go less than, you know, 14 to 16 range. Okay. Um, and actually, me and Just were in this room, and uh, I was like, yeah, I want, I want 14 records on it or something. And he was like, no, 10. And I was like, let's meet <laughs> in the middle and say 12. And this is uh, like, this is a couple of years ago now. Yeah. And he was like, all right, fine. Wow, uh, okay. And right. I was like, nah, I need 12. I was like, I need at least 12. Give me 12. He was like, all right, cool. Okay. So running was on Can't Wait. Yes. Um, it was also on AYM. Yes. What? <laughs> What is the thought process or the creative process behind that? I know there's, you know, the orchestral piece at the end. Um, you know, what made you want to put that song on AYM? Um, well, it was, first of all, it was the first song that me and Just ever did together. Um, you know, he, I, I met Just before we shot Field Tall. Actually, not before we shot Field Tall, before we dropped it. I okay. actually met him about a week before we put it out. And he came through the studio and we were working, uh, finishing up Can't Wait, because I actually didn't finish that record until the last part of the tour I was on during that time. Uh -huh. And... Um, we had running, we had a lot of the records and he heard running and he was like, man, like this could really be on the radio. And, and I'm sitting there, I'm looking at my manager and I'm like, whoa, we're about to take this off the project. <laughs> and, um, anyway, with that being said, when me and him finally got in the studio after I was done with touring and the holidays kind of, you know, were wrapped up around that time, uh, we worked on running and it definitely set the sonic tone for the album. Okay. You know, it's huge. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's large and it's, it's, it's big. Um, and with that being said, I already kind of knew conceptually what I wanted to do with the album. And I knew that a song, um, 
like running would fit in the trajectory of the album and it's kind of that moment when i get to the city and it's kind of more of a storyline now it's right, more of right. a storyline piece where it's can't wait it's just a whole bunch of random not random but a lot of thoughts that are very similar lined up together uh-huh. and this is kind of you know a little bit semi-conceptual i keep saying so it it, it fit in the trajectory and it also just kind of really set the tone for the size of the project <laughs> Yeah, speaking of the album, um, you know, with the size of the album, like you said, it's so wide sonically and it just sounds so big. I know that has, you know, the Just Blaze influence on it. Yeah. Um, You know, as far as the relationship between the two of you, how did that come about? Uh, You know, when did you guys start really start working together every day? Um, Well, we met through a mutual friend. Shout outs to Ball God. Um, Alex uh, Chichimaro, he's a friend of mine, you know, who... uh, pretty much has been around during the early process of can't wait and um you know he actually showed xv stuff to just back in the day he showed mac miller's stuff to just back in the day so both of those relationships that just kind of you know have and had um kind of came from this one person and it it was kind of just a natural progression alex saw me working and i was kind of you know starting to build a following on my own and the music got better and better Uh um and he was just like yo i'm gonna show your stuff to just i don't have i can't promise you anything right and i'm sitting there and i'm thinking in my head i'm like he's gonna fuck with it (laughs) i know he's gonna see what i'm eventually trying to do yeah and um sure enough he called me and he was like yo just wants to come to the studio he wants to hear the album i was like Fuck! <laughs> you know, so yeah, nah, that, that was kind of how it happened. But um, 